Hey everybody, it's Mergle, and today we're back with more Iron Man Grind. Now, I'm very, very excited, because you probably saw in the last episode, we have kind of finished Zora. I mean, I'll obviously have to go back if I ever need scales or anything of the such, but for the time being, we are, we've, we've got 136k left after filling up the blowpipe. It'll last us a decent amount. Now, I haven't been to my kingdom in... A very <laughs> let's just check <laughs> it's it's been a while but um here we go 25 percent. i've been gone for so long that's the lowest it can go i think i don't actually think it's allowed to dro drop below that so um at the very least this kingdom's gonna have a lot of crap in it once i fill up this percentage now this inventory don't worry like these things are just things I'm holding because I needed to clear bank space for the sake of Being allowed to collect my kingdom when this is over, but you can see all the other stuff here I've got tons of rune items as well as dragon halberds all came from Zora and Dragon med helms a lot from Zora, but many from other places I, I wanted to collect these but that's so much in Alex look at how much this is worth I, I can't even here we'll look at it in this look at this right that's an alks pretty much because they alk for 60k so even more than what it says right and this is basically the price in alks boom all that gold in alks right not accounting even all this stuff you know what i'm gonna do with all that gold construction we're gonna get a ton of construction levels i've got 1.3k mahogany planks in my bank as well as however many logs plus 10k that are pretty much already in the bank I'm gonna make as many as I can into planks with my entire cash stack. We're going for the broke but um That's the plan. I'm gonna get my percentage up. We'll see what happens after this and I uh, will be back with you in a moment Well that took longer than expected. <laughs> I didn't realize it took so long to uh get the favor up but I intend to get the elite done in this episode hopefully really the only thing I need is the uh, room crafting level that's I think that's actually it if I look at the diary and supposedly it gives you uh, a faster reputation craft a dragonstone amulet that's real easy craft 56 astral runes yep so I gotta get 82 rune crafting this episode <sighs> All right, let's see what uh, we're getting from this. It should be a ton of stuff. Hopefully six banks places is enough. Collect resources. Oh, wait. Oh, wrong button. Collect resources. Ooh, baby. Any of these good? Hey, there's a Ranar seed in there. Usually they're garbage. All those are getting dropped. But look at this. Juicy, juicy quite a lot we're gonna slap a two million in there so hopefully that'll last until next time that I forget it and then we're gonna go train agility while we finish off all these Alks that's the plan uh, I should end up with like 15 million after all this I think if I did the math right so we're doing a couple laps here um, I was decided that I was going to do a bit of alking just to get a level here. I've got 12 laps, it says, until we uh, hit 77 agility. But I'm going to finish out these alks. And as you can see, we've hit 16 mil. Uh, I put 3 mil in the tip jar for the uh, butler. So technically, we had almost 20 mil. Actually, we will have 20 mil if you count the alks from all that I got left. So yeah, 20 mil cash. But um, put three mil in the tip jar just so I had enough to pay him whatever his stupid fee is going to be. And uh, after that, we're going to have 17 mil to burn on in construction. I can easily see myself hitting 83, maybe even 84. And uh, at 83, you can technically boost to get all of the best things in the game. Well, this has taken all day pretty much all of yesterday too because I had to make the planks but I was gonna tell you what I get based on calculations but I thought it'd be better as a surprise just to see what we hit boom 84 construction oh what a grind that was a lot of total levels too 
and I'm not actually done. Uh, I'm not going to use any more of my planks because with 84 I can build a lot of my house and that's the intention. I also have a lot of the money. I'm about to steal this guy's wages because I don't have any gold left. I spent every every little gold piece I had but I have 1.8 mil left in his good old money bag which I'm going to steal and use for making this house you know but I'm not going to do it right now because this is the plan um 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 okay so got that done now I'm going to get 85 through winter time well I was talking about it but here it is one of those extra onyxes that I had going to make it into a nice little onyx bracelet here then slap the enchant on it and boom we got ourselves a regen since I'm actually headed to winter top it'll help out a lot it increases your health regen double the normal rate and it stacks with I think this the rapid heal I think they do stack so uh, that means you can get like 4 HP a minute well here we go this will be it I was going to do everything at um, winter time, but it was just too slow for me. I wanted to get this done. So, blammo, 85 construction. Means I can build this now. Just need to get 10 mushrooms and a fairy enchantment. But yeah, we can build that. We can build a lot of stuff. I'm going to upgrade the treasure chest over here. It'll be able to hold hard and elite stuff. I'll just be back with you in a bit. This house is going to get improved a lot. I do have about 4 mil cash, uh, including the stuff that I've got in his coffer right now, but we should be good to go for quite a bit. So I'll be back with you after we've improved the house. So here I am at Pyramid Plunder, and uh, my house is starting to look really good. Not going to show you yet. We're not ready. I want to complete this part at least but I need to get a second scepter <sighs> I could use this one but there's a master clue that requires the pharaoh scepter because if I use this one it wouldn't be a big deal you know I could always go without it but yeah since there is a master clue step that does require a pharaoh scepter I don't want to just ditch this one well, I didn't get my second scepter, but I did get a level in thieving, so now we're 83. And we're just going to take a break for it, because I do want it, but I mean, at the end of the day, it's just a, a little bit more improvement to my house, which I'm going to go ahead and show you. So, let's teleport there. And you can see, I've built this rejuvenation pool, got our fairy ring, got our pet stall here, which has all the best stuff except for the house. The only reason I didn't build the best house is it takes 92, which means I needed a 4 boost, and the most you can get in your house is a 3, and I didn't want to. I didn't really care about it that much, because this can hold 12 pets. As you can see, I don't have a lot of options. The next one holds 40, but we'll get it eventually. Oh, all that pet stuff built. I have my portal room over there. I have this, which I'm going to train prayer soon, so that's there. Um, the ornate jewelry box, which is the best one you could get. Got every teleport available now. I've built all these things because this can hold all my capes, so extra capes that I don't really use a lot. Like I had one of those in the bank. I had one of those, tossed them in here, save bank space. I just put one in here for filling it out. Cooking capes in there, if I need it, just come grab it. Fire making cape. Spotty or hunter cape. I think it's for a clue scrolling, that's why I had it, but if I gotta, I can just come grab it again. And then we put a bunch of outfits in here. So the entire ghostly robe set was taking up a lot of bank space. Pyromancer, I don't, I don't do much winter tot nowadays, so if I need it, just come grab it. And then there's other ones in here, like the angler. I put anglers in here, lumberjacks in here, prospectors in here. I could go back and get all these shazy and armors just to fill this thing up. <laughs> I didn't know this they could be stored in here because I dropped all of them except set 5. But it's got a lot of stuff you can put in here. Look at my bank space. I have so much bank space now. Let's see here. Yeah, yeah, da, da. 
So if we look here, I have over 40, no, 44 bank spots. I'm usually riding with like three or four available. It's because I stored all the clue scroll crap too. I, I built the biggest chest so I can hold all the levels of clue scroll crap. Really, really, really good. Now I wanted the second scepter because I have the uh, levels and I could build in building mode. You see I could build, let's just swap it over, the occult altar. I would be able to build it. All I need is a pharaoh scepter. Now I could sacrifice this one but I don't really want to because it's faster to farm with a scepter already. And if I ever get the master clue scroll, I don't want to have to go back and farm. So that's why I was trying to get another one. I wanted to build all these, which is not important. I guess I'll get in a little bit. All it does is allows me to swap my spell books easily. Not a big deal. I've lived without it for this long. I can live without it a little longer. But yeah, as you can see, the house is looking nice. So after this rune crafting run, I'm gonna have a big milestone here now I cannot say enough good things about the regen bracelet so this is my setup I got the fury kit uh, dragon square ring of suffering and regen and with just this armor I've never had to eat the entire time I've been doing this but boom that should be it 75 or rune crafting get to upgrade the pouch it's gonna speed up my XP per uh, hour quite a bit I'll tell you what, I definitely intended to do this longer, but <laughs> after all I've done in the past, like, 16 hours of doing this, I think I want a break. I would like to uh, get back to PVM content of some type. But look here. Oh, wait, right, I gotta empty this, I forgot. <laughs> just kidding it's when I empty all these here we go that one this is the one Boop. 77 which means I now have enough stats to technically do all of the elite diary for Fremenic and look at this 1993 I'm not done scaling for today though um, but I am gonna go do the elite diary uh, I gotta get a 5 boost. I hate 5 boosting, but I'm just gonna stop there. I'm done rune grafting for a little bit. Um, but yeah, I gotta go boost that, get the Fremenic Diary done, and then I'm gonna train my prayer for a little bit. I think I have enough to get to 80. It shouldn't take me very long. Bones are really, really fast, even in your house. So I don't think that's a problem. But that'll get me to the 1998 two levels. And then I got a farming level. If I just uh, do a quick tree run, and I can plant magic trees. Oh my gosh, I'm hitting 2k this video. It's happening. It's gonna happen. Just watch. But I'm gonna go get that boost. We're gonna do this elite diary and get it done. Well, the boost for rune crafting was a, a tricksy little craft because I boosted, it hit 82. <laughs> it immediately dropped 81 right after. So I had to get another plus 5 boost. I should have been timing it or whatever where's the dragon stone option oh i didn't chisel it that's why we gotta gotta chisel that real quick there we go and this do i have to string it i don't know if just making that oh that was it that was all the elites we'll string it anyway i'll turn it into a glory in a second but yeah sir it'll be crazy i don't remember what other stuff you get See boots, in addition to all previous benefits, you can now unlimited teleports to Relica with the boots. Your Lear can now teleport you to Jatizo. He's not, not a big deal. I can just teleport there and run. Seal passage, no more. Hey, that's a bank space. I forgot that. And kingdom management faster than ever before. Mainly after the Dagana King noted bones, let's be real, but... This is a nice little Herblor XP drop. Yeah, there we go. Now we're going to go train prayer. I've got a lot of bones. Let's go ahead and check it out. Man, I, I told you guys I wouldn't do an entire episode about skilling, but that's basically what this is becoming, it feels like. I've done so much skilling. Look, we got all these. I'm even going to do the big bones 
this is going to be a good chunk of XP. And then I've got a lot of heads. I can actually do all of these heads. I don't know if I have the runes for it. And I'm kind of broke. I might sell off more blood runes to get a cash stack and then go buy soul runes. Because I forget what you need. But this is a lot of XP too. That right there is a ton in, in its own. But we're looking at at least 80 Pereira. Here we go. This will be the last head I will be doing. I thought I was going to get 80, but I'm I'm I've got enough heads to probably get half this level, but I'm not going to bother doing it. Well, here comes this level. Pretty big level. Boom. 75 farming. 1998 total. Two levels, two levels. But yep, that means I can plant these bad boys. I couldn't actually plant them in there, so get that done. But yeah, the, the farming levels are going to fly in because I'm planting all these. I got like 30 palms. Well, it's time for some PVMing. We're going back to the Slayer grind. Red Dragons. I normally wouldn't use a blowpipe on these, but I haven't got to test this bad boy since I got it. I just want to give it a whirl, see what happens, how I use it on these red drags. I think it'll go well. Um, and I'm also putting my house to use, so rather than using my teleport from doing rings, I'm going to teleport to my house. Saves me doing rings for uh, other occasions or something. But yeah, we're going to get ourselves set up here real, real nice to finally be doing some PVM and again. Two levels. I want to get them through some means of PBM. Maybe a couple levels in these. Or, uh, I don't know, a Slayer level. I, I doubt it. I'm pretty close on a lot of my combat skills. But we'll just see what happens. And I'll be back with you in a bit. Here we go. Grabbing another task. What do we get? Necreal. There's one of our levels because Mage is uh, going to get 95 this task for sure. That's going to give us a ton of XP. Well, let's go burst it out and see what happens. Alright, here comes the level. Should be about this next cast. Nope, oh, one more. And there it is. 95 magic. Which is surprisingly tied with my top combat skill. Oh, and a hard clue. Well, hello. But if you look there, 95 magic. 95 strength. Well, isn't it a good thing that I checked what the clue was? <laughs> I can't actually do it. That was uh, short-lived. Okay, well, back to uh, good old neck rails. Still not done with the task, but we got a quick card casket here. Boop. Oh, an ancient page. What is it worth? 280k. Just add to the bank value. Toss it on in there. Head back to neck rails. Got another hard casket here. Still a few necks left to kill. Alright, let's go finish out. This is a horrible clue, but let's go finish the neck task. Grabbing our next task, uh, depending on what it is, if because I'm going to be busy for a little while, I think my 2000 level will probably be woodcutting, because let's see what we get. Yeah, I can't really do that right now. So, we're going to go AFK woodcut. It's assured that... I'm going to get the XP because I'll be busy all day, but I don't want to XP waste, you know. So we're going to chop redwoods, and there you go. 91 woodcutting will be total level 2000. So I'm going to go get my stuff out of my house and get ready to do that, and I will see you at level 91. Here it is. Da -da -da -da, 91 woodcutting, and it reached a total level of 2000 thousand can now enter the 2k world I'm not gonna go there because it's nice and clear here and I still plan to continue chopping at least for a couple more hours to come but yeah 2k total achieved uh, might do some late night bossing in the wilderness tonight just to celebrate but pretty sweet all right grabbing another task uh, it's getting kind of late. I might try some wieldy boss in here soon, but I want to make sure it's 
super late, so I don't even have any issues. Barrows. <laughs> I'm going to put 35. I don't care. 36. Oh, okay. They made it 36, so it makes a nice even number for this, but of course I'll do Barrows. <laughs> Why not? That's such a silly task. Maybe I'll get my Aram's chest. Wouldn't that be amazing? All right. Let's go ahead and go there. Well, I did end up getting an item, as you can see. <laughs> Another Darog leg. You remember this haunted us? This is worth a lot. 1.1 mil. That's just crazy for them. But yeah, haunted us for a long time, the Darok leg. So I have the full set. It's not a big deal. Not really the item I was looking to see, but I can't be mad. I've still got technically like 600 chests before the average completion of Darok. Or not Darok. The average completion of Barrows. So... Getting the uh, Aram's top is very, very unlikely. Back to back chess, but we're getting into Illuminati here. <laughs> so, chess 911, we get the twin hammers. Oh boy, here come the memes. But, yep, there's the task complete. <laughs> I'm gonna go pick up another one. Alright, I've been using this blowpipe. Give me a task where I actually need it. Hmm. <gasps> Mm. Preparations must be made. Well, I got a task where I can use it, but now I need several things. Ecumenical keys. Um, I need to make Trollheim teleport tabs. And I need, I need to catch Black Jans. Oh my gosh, I have a lot of things to do now. That's what I get for saying give me a task where I can use it. But I'm going to try and do me some... Okay, so I think I'm ready. We got our Trollheim teleports and Blood Barrage to go. Swap to our Staff of the Dead for Blood Barraging. I'm using Red Chins. I know, not the best, but the reason being is I'm on task, so I think it should be okay. Um, they're only 10 less accuracy than black chin so I can't imagine they're terrible the blowpipe to kill the minions faster really the only thing I think would be more optimal is if I had cerebrus of course but I can't make them and I don't have a large quantity and if I had bones to peach tabs but I've only got the lectern to make normal house tabs so I'd have to make the other one and I I just said what the heck let's see how this goes first but yeah mm, wish me luck hopefully we get lucky on our first couple kills Okay, so after attempting Cree, I died and lost 750 chance. But <laughs> I'm not mad or anything. It's nothing like that. Uh, I'm just no good at the chinning method. I mean, I could get better, but at the end of the day, it's it's. I don't want to. I just don't want to do that. So I will kill Cree. Um, not right now, honestly. I'm going to go just do a normal Aves task when I finish this one. But... I'm going to use diamond e-bolts because you can get upwards of 10 kills a trip even with shoddy gear and diamond e-bolts if you um, do it properly. And I, I would much rather do it that way. It's a lot more relaxed and I don't know. The chinning method, while effective, and by the way, if you're good at chinning, red chins worked quite well. I'm not going to lie. It worked pretty good. So maybe blacks aren't worth investing in. But topic aside... I'd much rather just diamond bolt E it. But what I'm going to go do now is uh, some will debossing. It's pretty late. We're on the 2K world. I think I'll have a free world probably and uh, very relaxed. So I'm going to go give it a try. Well, I went to Ven and the first kill since I go there on the 2K world, I get an elite. So Ooh, that is kind of sad. What are those worth? 71k that makes up for half of it <laughs> that's so sad was doing some bossing on the 2k world it was pretty good but I, I was tired of wieldy bossing I got crashed a couple times and I'm an iron man so I can't really do anything uh, anyways what are we getting ooh 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 <laughs> you know what that means noted Goneth bones. 
Nice. This is the first time I'm ever really going to do the Kings. Excited. Just pulled our first mud battle staff on the account. I don't really know what it'll be used for. I don't know if it's used in any clues or anything, but this is going really well. Um, no complaints so far. Very nice. Alright, we got a master casket here, and you're probably wondering how we came to this point. Well, quick explanation. I gave up on the DK Kings. The reason being is I want to get my stats a little higher before I'm attempting them because you have to kill them fast enough before the others spawn. It just it wasn't going very swell after a little bit. I got like 40 kills and then things started falling apart. <laughs> Anyways, I went and did normal Dagonis. I got a medium, which happened to be the only clue I needed to turn into Watson for a master. I don't usually turn in clues. I turned him in because I was woodcutting. I only need a medium, so I turned it in, got a master, and bam. That's what we get. This is the dragon starter. What the hell is that? How is that 455k? It must be because of that. Yeah, I guess the dragon pieces are 200 and... Well, I see it, I see it now. Still, pretty... I mean, it's a good one, I can't complain. Did a farming run, easily got a level 76 farming. We'll get 77 tomorrow, but let's uh, get a new task. Iron Drags. Hmm. Haven't done those in a while. Got a hard casket from an Iron Dragon. Here we go. Ooh, Zambi Page. Do we got our last Zambi Page? Nope. Hoping for a new task. Looking for Abyssal Demons. I would like to give Sire a try. My stats may be still too garbage, unfortunately, because if I was struggling at Kings, mind you, there's three of them. I don't know about Sire either, but we'll find out. I feel like removing them. I don't actually want to, but I'm, I'm tired of seeing... Dragon after dragon, man. It's it's just dragon, dragonscape. I need the bones. I need to get to 85 prayer anyways. Just not what I wanted to do right now. Alright, we got our next task here, but it's elves. And as you know, I said I wanted to block elves. And I have more than enough points. I've actually been saving them. Don't really know what to spend it on. Nothing worth extending, in my opinion. Maybe myths. Nah, I don't want to extend those. These are really nice, though. Actually, I do want to extend that, because when I get them, um, they're 100% AFK, because they're always aggressive, and since Dark Beast Superior is very high level, that means a high chance at a heart, which I still need. Smoke Devil's on here? Or, where's Smoke Devil? I'll extend that if I can find it. Uh, I don't see it. Maybe maybe it's already a huge task. And you don't need to extend it. Alright, well, let's get our next task. What are we getting? Karask. Hey, I need to pick up a battle axe, so I can't be mad about that. We'll get one of these helmets too soon. This one, actually. I have the claw, so I think that's the next purchase. I can't think of anything else. I could re-unlock those, but we'll wait till another time. Alright. Let's get to it. Okay, so I just got my first leaf bladed battle axe on the account. Very nice. Um, it's getting a huge buff here soon. So right now, in terms of efficiency usage, the sword is superior to the axe um, on Karask and Taroth. But this is getting a huge buff. It'll be way, way, way superior after that. Now, <laughs> something funny though is when I got this, okay. I got a sword drop, and I thought, darn, I wish that would have been a battle axe. I alk the sword, because I don't really need an extra one. Back to back. I got the sword and then the axe immediately after. Pretty nutty. Um, I'm glad I got it, though, before the buff, because I wasn't going to use it until they buffed it anyways. But now I got it in backup for when it happens. Very nice. Alright, let me get a good task. We also got a hard clue at the end of our caress task. I still can't believe I got... I, I, I was mad at myself because I was going to record the sword when I got it. 
the leaf bladed sword and I was gonna be like darn I wish this was a battle axe and then it dropped the exact next kill it would have been so funny if I was recording but can't believe that anyways Ooh, the free to play starter kit for scaling what are we looking at here 90k uh, meh 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 Ooh, I haven't got that in a while I gotta use my new trident against them however I'm gonna go kill me some giant mole not necessarily that I want to it's just the giant mole is where I get my arrows <laughs> so I use the iron arrows and uh yeah, that's. I need to get at least one iron arrow drop so I have enough to do this Kraken task. Since I need whatever the amount is times four, you're looking at six, twelve arrows. I, only have, I gotta get one drop. Pretty big news. I got a jar of dirt. I know it's, it's kind of st silly, but um, I am a collector, so getting all those items is nice to me. Only worth 9k, but... Yeah, he's better than nothing, I guess, you know? That's the only drop I've gotten, notably, so far. <laughs> and sorry if you hear the loud train in the back, but... Anyways, just wanted to say that. Pretty cool. Waiting for that pet. If I get the pet, I might just block these, because they're... It's great drops, but it does cost a lot of runes. Well, it looks like the jar is not our only drop. Not too long ago we got that. Somewhere up here. I don't remember. Right there. So what, 10 kills? Yeah, pretty good. Another Kraken Tentacle. Not like it does me any good. I would much prefer the Tridents because Tridents are free runes. But you know what? I'm not going to be upset. So, yep. One more Tentacle to the account. I'm going to say I'm pretty lucky with this boss. I hope when I get an Abyssal Demon task, I get so lucky with uh, Unsire drops. Because I want to get that bludgeon, you know. That's why we're excited to do it. Bludgeon is... It's really good at a lot of things. So, um... Definitely want to pick it up. But yeah, this is a 1 in 300. And I've managed to get 4 now. 800 kills. So hopefully it on uh, Sire, we can get 4 in 100 kills. That's the plan. Grabbing our next task. Really hoping for Abyssal Demon. That is, like... Not at all close. Is there anything less sucky on this list? I know that they're a good task, but I hate blood velds. It's so boring. Got another hard casket. Oh, what the? Three black dehyde jabs? Okay. I'm getting ready for pure PK, I guess. What are we doing? Here we go, grabbing another task. Something good. Those are good, but don't really want to see them. I know it's so so bad, but I'm going to skip them for once. I just want to see something boss tasking. There we go. There we go, indeed. That's what I wanted to see. Alrighty, we got a hard casket from one of the minions. That's an awful lot of stuff. Full set of rune. This is uh, free to play gear except for, what's it, that? So, yeah. Anyways, what I'm going to do is, I'm, I'm done with Krill. It, I want to get like, I want to kill Sire for one. That's really the boss that I'm hunting right now. And two, I would rather have like 90 plus stats before I'm really seriously bossing. Because I was only getting like three kills a trip. It takes forever. I hate getting the kill count. Those imps are so boring. But uh, I do have some bossing to do. So you're not going to miss out because look at this. Ooh, seven totems means I get seven skatizos. Definitely going to get a couple uh, things there. Maybe a pet. Might be finally getting it. Let's go check it out. Well, it's probably to the point with this guy that I'm not going to have to ever, like, go kill the things again. Unless it's just really bad RNG. But, alright, first kill we get some blood runes. And let's go do this hard if we can. Yes, we'll be alright. Alright, here we go. Hard clue again. Boom. 
Oh, we got the mage comp in there. Getting lucky. One of these is going to give us... I bet we're getting the elite and the hard this Skatizo, and it's going to give us a master. All right, here we go. Skatizo 2. I, I guess this is what I get for saying it would be a cakewalk. I just didn't hit him at all, and uh, it just um, made me actually use supplies. So, uh, there we go. Yup. I keep getting deep weldy clues, and I have to get naked, so give me something. What is... This is so much room. These have been really, really good clues for hards. Look at that. 179k. Crazy. Here we go. Third is the worst, right? Something like that? Is that how the saying goes? Blood runes again. Oh, well. You know, it's not bad. I mean, I, I, I've actually been using them. So it's worth it to get some extras. This is the first one that I didn't have to bank. Good reward, right? This is so much room, man. These are all like... I don't think any of these have been under what? The 70k was the lowest? It's crazy good right now. I'm eating a banana. Let's see what we get. Ooh, an elite clue. The lucky banana. And that's that's a crazy good drop. How much is this worth? 337k. <laughs> Just need the one in front of it. Alright, yeah, I guess the lucky banana. So hopefully we get a master out of one of these. Another hard casket. We'll go do that elite afterwards. <laughs> this is why I didn't want to do the elite first, because <laughs> I can't store a casket in my bank, and if I happen to get this to happen, I didn't want to have to carry the casket with me everywhere, you know what I mean? So BAM! All right, let's go do this if we can. It probably. Uh, yeah. All right. Oh, uh, maybe we'll get a doable master. Nope. What is what is this? That's worse than most of the hards I've done. Wow. So just so you know, if all four are up. You can still hit pretty accurately. I thought like you just barely hit at all, so it wasn't worth doing. Hey, another elite. Good stuff, good stuff. And anglers are always nice. They catch so slow. I've got a bunch in my bank. Uh, I'm kind of saving them for when I do something like corping, but... Uh, yes. Yes. This was a really easy hard. By the way, a little tip. In case you didn't know. You know how on hard clues you gotta kill Yuri... If you have an elite clue in your inventory, he spawns immediately. You don't got to kill him. You just get the clue for any clues where Yuri has to be killed. It's pretty nice. It makes these go by faster. These have this is, these have been so good. So good, man. That's I still How many are we at? 179. No rune Heralda kill yet. So let's get this and uh, see what happens. Elite casket, boom. That's worth quite a bit. That was a much better improvement over the last Elite Casket. 372k. Magic Seed's pretty awesome. I'll take it. Utterly destroyed him. Look, no eyeballs even spawn. Poor Skatizo just got wrecked. Oh, there they are. <laughs> I couldn't remember where they spawned, but yeah, they didn't didn't have any. Woohoo, planks. That is a great one. That's Okay, let's do math real quick on this. It's like 21,000 XP. It's crazy. And it's probably a super expensive drop of his. Let's look at that. Yeah, that's one of the better ones, I bet. <laughs> Here we go. Boom. Wow, there's a lot of things in this clue. Again, a very, very nice hard clue. 170. These are crazy good. And it's got two uniques. I kind of wish it was Bandos Plate, because I don't think I have the Bandos one. Yeah, I don't. And Bandos Plate is a requirement for... Uh, that whoops hey whoa 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 bandos plate is a requirement for that uh master clue that i had to drop <laughs> but uh yeah i have one totem left totem the end of my totem streams here you go maybe we'll get lucky and get another full totem off of him never know but this last kill uh took quite a few supplies into account what are we gonna get Dun, dun, dun. You gonna fall over? Thank you. Man, that took ages. Oh, last clue. Uh, might get a master out of it, but we'll see. Let's just get it knocked out. Alright, 
Last one before we go to normal greater demons. Yeah, that's what I want to see. <laughs> this is what I get for uh, not keeping up with my farming runs. I have to plant a spirit tree. I have to teleport to a planted spirit tree. Oh my goodness, that means I have to get to the level and then wait like four days for it to grow. So, hmm, I'm not going to drop it. I obviously have more than enough seeds in my bank to get to at least 80. And then I have garden pie so I could boost. But uh, what I'm going to go do is go finish that greater demon task. See what my next task is. And then we'll probably call it a video in case nothing else happens. But first off, I'm going to do, <laughs> do a farming run. <laughs> no, I can just finish the task and do the farming run after. But I, th I find that funny. Like This is, I like, think, the only step that I can't really do. <sighs> yeah. Got a hard clue. We still got a lot of demons to kill, but I'll drop this. See if we get another. Nope. Pick it back up. There we go. Sort it out. Let's open this. Oh, wait. I can't. I lied. I have to go grab the master. But I still have maybe, what, like 30? 40 greater demons? Something like that. Wait, wait, clue. Scroll. Clue. Grab. Drop. Drop. Open. Nope. Nope, nope. Nope. All right, let's see. Drop the master. Open the casket. Ooh, red cavalier. Look at that. Let's see that little bad boy. Don't think this one's a repeat, but whatever. What's that worth? 73k. These were all pretty good. What's our new task, Dardo? Skeletal wyverns. I keep getting them, but I don't really want to do them. But it doesn't matter anyway, because we're going to end the episode here. Um... I will be doing a farming run in just a moment, which is guaranteed to give me a level from all the trees I have planted. And I'll be getting a lot of them real quick in the next couple days. I need to get to 80 so I can continue this master. But at the same time, I'm going to go thieve. I'm going to do XP thieving at Pyramid Plunder. I'm not going to try and rush a scepter. I wanted to do Pyramid Plunder till 91 thieving anyway, so I will probably get one passively. And then if I have a second one... I can make my house altar, which would be really nice. That's the plan. Um, and that's what I'll likely be doing. So, anyways, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one. We did get some pretty good stuff done. 2K total achieved. So, I will see you again real soon. Bye-bye.